kids and in this video we are going to teach you how to make this zero to three months mini mouse dress we will teach you how to make a three to six months dress during the video we got inspired by a pinterest photo so this pattern isn't fully ours the dress is 16 inches and the length is 12 inches you will be needing loops and threads size for red yarn red heart super saver size for white yarn scissors measuring tape a 4.0 millimeter soap and a 2.5 millimeter soap to start we're going to make a slip knot on the hook and now we are going to chain 58 one two three four five i have my 58 chains here and now we are going to start working on the third chain from the hook so we are going to count count one two and three so yarn over insert the hook in the chain yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull up through two loops yarn over and pull up through two loops that's a double crochet and we are going to repeat this for a total of eight double crochets so we have oh the chain two here at the beginning it's going to be for the button hole so we have one two three and four five six seven and eight so one two three four five six seven eight now the next chain we are going to be making a corner so go to the chain and make a double crochet one and two chains and go back to the same uh, space and make one more double crochet now we're going to be making a double crochet on the next chain uh, on the next 10 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten on the next space we are going to make a corner so one double crochet chain two and a double crochet in the same space okay now this is going to be the back of the dress. This is the slip. And now for the front of the dress, we are going to be making one double crochet on the next 16 chains. One, two, three, okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, in 16 stitches and this is going to be the front of the dress now we're going to make the corner one double crochet chain two and one double crochet now we need to make the other slip we are going to be making one double crochet on the next 10 chains i have one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to make the corner. It's one double crochet. chain one and one double crochet 
now I will make one double crochet on the next chain uh, on the next eight chains I have one two three four five six seven and eight and now I will chain two and this is not going to count as a stitch we are going to be using this for the button holes so now we are going to make double crochet to the chain two space Okay, and here at, in this chain space, we are going to be making two double crochets, one and two, one and two chains, and two double crochets into the same space. And now we're going to continue making one double crochet on each stitch to the next chain two space. I am here at the chain two space and I will make two double crochets, one, two, and one and two chains, go back to the same space and make two more double crochets, just like this. Now we're going to continue working with double crochet to the next chain two space. Okay, I am in the chain two space and I will make two double crochets. One and two chains and two double crochets into the same space. And I will keep repeating this, making one double crochet to the next uh, chain two space. I will make my two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets in this space. And I will finish my row with a double crochet on each stitch. I am finished here with the round number two and this is how the top looks. Now we're going to continue with the round number three. Again, we are going to be making uh, two chains, turn, and we're going to start in the, se in the first stitch making double crochets I just continue making double crochets to the first chain to a space and we are going to be repeating uh, the same as we did on the row number two. Uh, here on the chain to space, we are going, we are going to be making two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets into the same space, just like this. Now we are going to be repeating again the same double crochet to the next chain to space, and here we are going to. Be making this um, two double crochet and chain two and two double crochets again two, double crochet to the next space um, make the shawl and then two double crochet to the next chain two space here and repeat the shawl that we did here okay this is how the top looks like so far and now I will continue working the same pattern. I already did my chain two here. I will turn and start making my double crochets to the next chain two space. And I will be repeating the same thing. On the chain two space, I will make a shell with two double crochets, two chains and two double crochets, and then I will make one double crochet on each stitch to the next chain to a space and that's how we're going to be working the whole top okay i am here i will make my 
to double crochet, two chains and back in the same stitch with two more double crochets. Okay, just keep repeating this to the end. Okay, we have one, two, three, and I make two more, so I have four and five uh, rows. I just repeat the same thing. And now for the number six, we are going to be closing the slips. So I will make my chain two, turn, and I will start making my double crochet on the first stitch. And I will continue with double crochet to the chain two space. Just make one double crochet on each stitch. Okay, now here we are going to be, we have uh, the chain two space here and we have uh, the next chain two space here. So we are going to fold it like this and turn over and we are going to go through this side in the next one and make a double crochet just like this and now we're going to continue with double crochet to the next chain two space okay i still need to make one more double crochet here and now i have my chain two space here i will go and grab the other one so just fold it like this we are here right so just fold it like this Put it together and now go through both chain to space and make one double crochet just like that i will show you one more time so yarn over and fold the two pieces here <clears throat> go through both chain to space and make the double crochet now i will finish my row making a double crochet on each stitch to end okay this is how we close the sleeves and now we are going to be making a slip stitch and we are going to start working in rounds so just go to the first uh, double crochet and make a slip stitch now chain two and again this is not going to count as a stitch just keep uh, making one double crochet on each stitch around starting on the first uh, stitch just make one double crochet on each stitch around Okay, I will make my last double crochet. I will slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. Remember that the chain two here doesn't count as a stitch. And now chain two again. Go to the same stitch and make a double crochet. And just keep repeating this uh, double crochet on each stitch around. We are going to be working four rounds. So we have a uh, one two i will make two more and i will be back with you okay we ha i have one two three four five six seven eight and nine rounds and now we are going to start working with white I will attach the white like this And we are going to be making a single crochet on each stitch around. So go back to the same stitch. And at the same time, you can um, 
hide this table here. So just make one single crochet on each stitch around. just continue making one single crochet on each stitch around and I will meet you at the end of this round okay I, I will make a slip stitch on the first single crochet chain one and again we are going to be making one single crochet on each stitch to end just like this Okay, just continue making your single crochets and I will meet you at the end. Okay, now I will bring in the, uh, the red with a slip stitch and I will tie this. And now we are going to start working with what I call a half triple crochet. So how, I will show you how to do it. Yarn over twi uh, once, go to the stitch, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull up through only one loop, yarn over and pull up through two loops, yarn over and pull up through two loops. That's my half triple crochet. So again, yarn over, Go to the next stitch, yarn over and pull up to one loop, yarn over and pull up to two loops, yarn over and pull up to two loops, like this. And go to the same stitch, we are going to be increasing every second stitch, so I will show you. Yarn over, go to the same stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over, go through only one loop. Yarn over, go through two loops. Yarn over and go to two loops. Okay, um, now on the next stitch, we're going to be repeating. Next stitch, we're going to increase. So we're going to put two together here. Next stitch is going to be only one. Next stitch is an increase. So we put two together. Next stitch is going to be only one. And next stitch is going to be our increase. So we put two together here. So one and two. Okay, just keep repeating like this to end. Okay, I will slip stitch on the first half triple crochet. I will make one, two, and three chains. And I will go back to the same stitch and make my half triple crochet. These chains are not going to count as a stitch. So on the next stitch, one half triple crochet. Next stitch, we are going to increase. So we're going to put two together, one and two. So for this round, we're going to be increasing every third stitch one half triple crochet one half triple crochet and on the next stitch we're going to make two together one and two one single one single 
and then two to have triple crochets here okay this is how we're going to be working for this round uh, increasing every third stitch we're going to make one one and two one one and two okay i will slip stitch on the first half triple crochet and now i will change my hook this is optional to a 4.5 this is optional this is just to give a little bit more volume to the skirt but if you don't want to change it just keep working with the four size uh, hook so from now on we are not going to make any more increases so just make your half triple crochet on each stitch around no more increases here So just one stitch on each stitch around. Just like this. Okay, just continue working like this and I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, we we have this so far, and this is how the skirt uh, looks like. And I will repeat the last um, round until I get the desired length. So I will just keep making one half triple crochet on each stitch around. Maybe five more rounds I will finish with that and I will get back to you when I am done. Just keep making one half triple crochet on each stitch around. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows uh, or rounds, I'm sorry, for the skirt and I will make one more. I will start by making chain one and going to the same stitching. I will make one single crochet. I will skip two stitches, one, two, and on the third, I will make five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. I will skip one and two, and on the third, I will make a single crochet. I will skip one and two, and on the third, I will make one, two, three, four, and five. Again, skip two stitches and make one single crochet. And this is how we are going to be working for the last round of the skirt. Okay, here I will skip my two stitches and then I will just make one more single crochet here and I will slip stitch and finish my round. Uh, the last round is optional if you want to make it or not. And here is the dress. We just need to work on the slips and on the dots. Okay, if you want to turn the, this beautiful dress to three to six months, uh, you are going to be do, closing the sleeves on the round number seven. For the zero to three months, we close the sleeves on the round number six, and for three to six months on the round number seven. And this is the number seven right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And after the seven, I did one, two, three, and four, making one double crochet on each stitch. And then I did my two rounds with white. And then I start the skirt here. And for the skirt, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and 
13 rounds. I didn't the last um, round with shells for the pink one, but if you want to, you can do it. And that's how you're going to be able to make the three to six months from the same pattern. Okay, for the three to six months, I use this uh, kind of yarn with the same uh, pattern. Now I will show you how to make the slips and we're going to be using the four millimeters hook. And uh, another thing, if you want to make um, this dress three to six months, but you want to use this um, kind of uh, yarn, you will need to buy two of these because this is how much I have left from this skin. So I think you will need more. Okay, now I have my yarn on the hook and we are going to attach the yarn on, in a stitch on the back of the dress with a single crochet and then we're going to make one chain and this is going to count as a first uh, double crochet. Then we're going to be making double crochet around the slip. And I have one more here. And now when you get to the underarm here, where we join the sleeves, uh, we are going to, to go inside both of the, on both sides and make one double crochet here. And then continue with double crochets around. Okay, so I am at the end of this round. I will just slip stitch on the on top of the chain here. And now I will make one and two chains. And I will make one double crochet on each stitch around. Just like this. Okay, continue making the double, uh, double crochet on each stitch around and I will meet you at the end of this round. Now with the smaller hook, I will be using the 2.5 millimeter. We are going to make the last round. So I will stitch, a slip stitch here. I will make one and two chains. And then I will make one double crochet on each stitch around. So just continue making uh, one double crochet on each stitch around using a smaller hook. Okay, now we are going to make a round here at the neckline just with single crochet. So just insert your hook on the first st stitch and make a single crochet. And just keep making one single crochet on each stitch around the neckline just like this okay now with the 4.5 millimeters and the white and uh, red heart we are going to make the dots I will start by making a magic circle on my finger and then I will grab my turn chain one and I will make nine half double crochets into the magic circle one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
in nine. Now we close the, the magic circle and I will make a slip stitch on the first half double crochet made and I will cut my yarn with a smaller hook I will bring my yarn to the back and I will make a knot here and now I will cut these ends and this is how we're going to be making our dots in total we will need 25 okay now i already placed some uh, of the dots and just with a, a hot glue or if you prefer you can uh, use a yarn needle and sew it to the dress but this is the fastest way to do it and just like this Okay, and this is my last one from this side. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And on our next video, we will be teaching you guys how to make a mini mouse crochet shoes and a mini mouse crochet hat. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications on our future videos. And thank you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on our next video.